Meet Bob Swanson, or as friends in the community call him, Dr. Bob. He's a Vietnam veteran, retired police officer, and advocate for those with substance abuse and mental health issues. 26 years ago, Swanson lost his stepson, Travis, to suicide. And ever since, he's been all over the community raising awareness and funds to help those who might be struggling. Recently, the Marquette County community has been hit hard by the news of three young people taking their own life all within one month of each other. 17-year-old Marquette High senior athlete Jordan John DeMay, 19-year-old Northern Michigan University track and field freshman Jaden Hill, and a 13-year-old Aspen Ridge Middle School student. Swanson knows all too well how these families must be feeling and is doing everything he can to help. Regarding these uh, three young people that we lost uh, in the last month in Marquette County, I'm going to carry those folks uh, and their families in my heart when I walk as well as my stepson and anyone else who may suffer uh, with mental health stuff. So on June 4th, Swanson will be traveling to New York City to compete in one of many walks he does every year to raise awareness for those who have passed so tragically. This walk will be a 15-mile trek from dawn until dusk around Lower Manhattan. He trains for it by walking every other day, but on this day he is walking this three to four mile hike around famous Presque Isle. I'm going to be walking with my uh, stepdaughter uh, and the two of us are going to, we're planning on doing about a dozen miles, but there will probably be another oh, 2,000 or so people walking with us. According to Swanson, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention has raised over $1.8 million to date since it started in 1987. With a goal of $2,000, Swanson has already raised $1,800 just by himself. ASFP says suicide is the number one cause of death for young people aged 15 to 24 years old. Swanson tells me that's why it's so critical to talk to your kids, grandkids, family, friends, and anyone else that may be dealing with mental health issues. Learning the jobs and uh, helping the people that I've helped in my life, talking about it is the, the best uh, way to prevent it. And notice changes in your children and as in school if uh, their grades start to drop or they start isolating. Amy Poyer works for Great Lakes Recovery Centers. She knows kids have been struggling with mental health and she tells me the pandemic has made things worse. I ask her what signs parents should look for in their young ones. Talking about wanting to hurt themselves or wanting to kill themselves, being a burden on others, uh, changes in sleep patterns, changing in eating patterns. According to Poyer, stepping up and being a part of someone's life can save them. She tells me what you can do to help. Encourage self-care, encourage people to get professional help. That's okay, there is help out there. Here you can see an apple tree that Bob's wife, Carol Ann, planted in honor of Travis's memory years ago. After the interview, Swanson left me with an important message. You know, there's a way out. You do not need to take and do yourself in. You, you, you know, there's a way, please. And if you're hearing me, uh, ask somebody for help. Now, if you know anyone struggling, you can always call or encourage them to call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. Justin Dirks, ABC 10, CW5.